summer vacation. I can sleep in and play every day. I want to go to the beach. I want to go to the beach. Kids, come back now. The weather forecast said a strong typhoon is coming. We must hurry up and prepare for the typhoon. But Dad, how do we know when the typhoon will hit? How do we know where the typhoon will go to? Hmm, about that. Let me handle these questions. As the old saying goes, know yourself and your enemy and you'll win every battle. If you want information about a typhoon, you must analyze a lot of atmospheric and oceanographic data. We use ground observation stations, ocean buoys, weather balloons, radar, and satellites to obtain atmospheric and ocean surface temperature data. After this data is entered, we are able to estimate a typhoon's possible track and intensity. But since a typhoon starts from the ocean, while ground observation stations, weather balloons, and radar stations are land-based, we need a way of measuring the intensity and track of a typhoon. Now, put your hands together. Please welcome the super new detective Formosat 7R, Triton, with a huge round of applause. Triton is a new generation weather satellite with the primary mission of observing the ocean and obtaining data from the ocean surface while it's in orbit. This is a special role that other weather satellites don't have. It sounds awesome! What secret weapon can Triton use to observe the status of the ocean surface? Triton is a small satellite designed and produced by the National Space Organization, NAR Labs, and weighs 280 kilograms. The satellite consists of one wing covered with solar cells and a gleaming rectangle called the Golden Lunchbox. Wow! It looks like my lunchbox! A golden lunchbox! What is that? Is it edible? It's not food, okay? Triton's most remarkable feature is its unusual receiver. This is the Global Navigation Satellite System Reflectometry Receiver developed by Taiwan. We simply call it the GNSSR. The GNSSR antenna inside the golden lunchbox receives GPS signals reflected from the ocean surface. These emitted wireless signals we use for positioning and navigation. But what does this have to do with typhoons? Triton's Golden Lunchbox helps us explore the ocean surface by reflecting GPS signals. Based on strength and delay of these reflective signals, we can measure wave scale and wind speed on the ocean surface. When the ocean surface is calm, Triton will receive very strong reflected GPS signals. But when the ocean surface is rough, signals will not be reflected well, and the signals received by Triton will be weak pulsating along the waves. The strength and variations of the reflected signals allow us to estimate wave scale and wind speed. When we combine wind speed data with atmospheric data, we get a very clear picture of the typhoon. Now that we have the Triton satellite, all these fickle typhoons are no longer our match. That's right. The Formosat 7R Triton can help us obtain more detailed oceanographic data, increasing our understanding of adverse weather. Yay!